Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. And in this video tutorial I would like to share with you how to crochet this beautiful beanie. It's easy and beginner friendly, I promise you. Uh, it, it perfectly fit uh, women, men, also kids and babies. And you can actually crochet it for any size, just listen recommendations and follow the instructions that I am telling you. For this hat I was using 6 mm crochet hook and the yarn color ma made easy from Lion brand. It is bulky yarn uh, and uh, I used only half of this big skein so for the adult size you will need at least 100 grams. You can use any other yarn and corresponded hook that you have. I will tell you how to calculate the hat size if you know your gauge. So first of all you need to crochet a small gauge like uh, about 20 or 13 stitches back and forth at least four rows and in my case it is 1.5 stitches in 10 centimeters or 4 inches. After that the hat circumference. There are lots of information about head circumference. You can measure it. If you don't know you can find the information a in internet. So I'm doing this hat for the head circumference 56 centimeters. So what I'm doing just to know how many stitches I need 56 centimeters multiplies by 10 centimeters and divide everything by 9.5 so I will get 58 stitches. So this is the one way of how to calculate the size you need. And another way that I want to share, this is the table that I have found online. And you see top down head crown diameter. If you look for age, I'm looking for an adult size, so teen small adult size that I'm going to do. And it is 675 inches. Uh, for me, it is better in centimeters, so it's about 17 and a half and a, or 18 centimeters. What does it mean? It means that you have to crochet the hat's crown, this one, until it measures 17 and a half or 18 centimeters. And then, I mean, you are going to make increases until the crown uh, measures 18 centimeters, and later, after, you're going to crochet without increases. So, as as you see, you can find the toddler size here and preemie, newborn. Also, there is a recommended hat lens. Super table, just take it and use it. And uh, as soon as I reach the 18 centimeters for my crown, I will check whether I have 58 stitches or not. Otherwise, you can just make increases until you have 58 stitches or make increases until you reach the diameter of 18 centimeters. I will check both and if you are crocheting this hat for a baby it, there are lots of way, ways how to decorate this hat. So for example these are buttons looks already great so you can also crochet for example a bow or butterfly 
and attach it here or flower you can also make lots of flowers or here's the rose with a leaf so lots of lots of combination how to decorate and make this hat cutie so if you're ready and would like to try crocheting this hat you're welcome to join me right now let's get started so using six millimeters crochet hook make a slip knot and chain three one two three make a slip stitch into the first chain and make a chain one now try to find the center of the circle here and make eight single crochet one two three four five Six, seven, and eight. And for beginners, I highly recommend to use a stitch marker and place it into the last stitch now, into the last single crochet. like this second round we are going to make two single crochet in each single crochet of the previous round in total 16 one and into the same stitch two and again one Two. So these are four, six, eight, ten. Twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. The last one into the stitch with stitch marker. And remove the stitch marker and place it again into the last stitch. In the next round we are going to make one single crochet here and two single crochet here and again one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. And again into the next one, one single crochet and then two single crochet. Again one single crochet, two single crochet.
वन टू वन एंड इंटोजर स्टिच विथ स्टिच मार्कर टू सिंगल क्रोशे रिमूव स्टिच मार्कर एंड प्लेस इट अगेन इंटो द लास्ट स्टिच द नेक्स्ट राउंड वी आर गोइंग टू मेक सिंगल क्रोशे इन ईच सिंगल क्रोशे ऑफ द प्रीवियस राउंड So in this round there will be no increases. Single crochet in each stitch. And go on Till the stitch marker and the next round will be increases in this way one single crochet then another single crochet and into the third stitch two single crochet so one one two one single crochet one single crochet and into the next one Two single crochet, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet, and into the next stitch, two single crochet, one, one, two. I will do it a little bit faster, but I hope it's clear. And two single crochet into the stitch with stitch marker again. Place the stitch marker into the last stitch, and the next round will be without increases. Just one single crochet into each stitch around. Till the stitch marker. In the next round, we are going to make again increases. One single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet, and into the next stitch, two single crochet. One, two. So it's like one, 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 two. And let's repeat one, 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 two. Sorry. Into the next one, two, and again, one, 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 and two. Now 
Like this, go on increasing till the stitch marker. And here, don't forget to place the stitch marker again. And the next round, without increases, simply single crochet in each single crochet of previous round. Till the stitch marker. Next round again increases. One single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet, and into the next stitch, two single crochet. So it will be one, 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 two. One. One, 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 and two. Like this, go on increasing one, 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 and two single crochet till the stitch marker. Again, next round, round without increases, just one single crochet in each stitch around. Go on till the stitch marker. And in this round, we will make increases again. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and one more. So five single crochet. We did five single crochet and two single crochet into the next stitch after. So single crochet, single, 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 and two single crochet. And like this. Now let's measure our crown. At this point I have 56 stitches and 18 centimeters crown. So it means it's enough. But as you remember, I did another calculation where it is said that I have to have 58 stitches. So in the next round I am going to add these two stitches. But this round as usually after the round with increases we are going to crochet one more round without uh, without increases. So just single crochet in each single crochet of the previous round. Go on till the stitch marker. And in this round I'm going to add two more stitches. If you need to add more stitches, you can add more stitches, like four stitches. And I will add them somewhere on the right and on the left side. And let me show how I'm going to do it. Uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little bit more, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and let's make it here. So into the next stitch, 
make two single crochet so make an increase so we added just one stitch and we need one more go on crocheting till the, till the other side A little bit more. I do not count stitches, just approximately on the other side. Well, let's count 15 stitches back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's unravel. 13, 14, the same, and here. So you did one and one more. And finish crocheting this round. And two more, one, and into the last one. So that's it. We did two increases. You can now leave the stitch marker and do not touch it. Just the marker will show you where is the beginning of the round. And now you go on crocheting without increases as many rounds until you reach desired lengths. And as you remember from the table that I showed you at the beginning, you can check the recommended hat lengths. And I will see you after and will show you how to finish. Here I am. Let's measure my hat. Stop approximately underneath the stitch marker and let's measure it. So this hat will perfectly fit um, the man size and the length as well. For myself I would crochet at least two rounds less. So let's measure and I have 22 uh, maybe and a half centimeters as I said for myself I, I would make 21 or even 20. And I already like the, the edge but if you want you can go on crocheting with simple slip stitch. Make the slip stitch in each stitch around do not pull too tight
go on till the beginning. At the end, cut the yarn, thread it through yarn needle, and I will show you how to join the first and the last stitch. Insert the needle into the center of the stitch of the next stitch, the first one. Then turn the hat and insert the needle again into the center of the last stitch here and bring the needle inside again. That's it. As you see, the trans transfer is almost invisible and on the wrong side, simply weave in ends. You can make a knot if you want. Just pull the yarn underneath Ok And that's how the hat looks I like it really so much And this is the age that's it guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for liking my all my videos and watching me please subscribe if you have not yet leave comments check my other video tutorials if you enjoyed this one i wish you all a good day and see you soon bye